what is up you guys welcome back to my channel as you can tell from the title of this video i'm sharing with you a really amazing and easy tutorial on how i get these everyday 10 minute curls in my hair this video is sponsored by jvn i am so thankful that they are sponsoring this video i am so obsessed with these products you guys my hair has literally never looked better and i can't wait to tell you everything that i use and share a bunch of my hair care tips tricks my everyday techniques and also why my hair looks so freaking good is because of the products i've been using so if you want to see how i got this look right here these beautiful easy effortless 10 minute everyday curls, then keep on watching. So I'm gonna start off by telling you guys a little bit about JVN Hair as a brand, what they're all about. Then I'm gonna talk you through some of my favorite products that I've been using every day. And then I'm gonna show you exactly how to achieve this look right here. Okay, so first and foremost, JVN Hair was founded by Jonathan Van Ness. If you don't know Jonathan Van Ness, I don't really know what to say to you. Check out his YouTube channel, you guys, it's incredible. But anyway, he founded this hair care brand and he actually talked about this in a podcast a while back. And I remember him saying in the podcast that he didn't want to start another brand unless he could do it in a really sustainable way because there are so many hair care brands out there and he just felt like he didn't want to add to the waste. So it's pretty incredible to see this brand come full circle and see him actually put everything that he said into action. So all of his products are completely sustainable, recyclable. They are clean, they are gender neutral, and they are all made with scientifically backed ingredients. So these are products that are actually going to affect your hair in a positive way. They're not just products that were thrown together. Like I just feel like you can see by how my hair looks, honestly, my hair has never looked better, but I just completely trust the ingredients and I trust JVN for creating this brand because he is obviously such a hair legend. So all of their products are made with hemi squalene, which is kind of like their claim to fame a little bit because that ingredient is truly amazing for your hair. So the actual ingredient in the products is this patented sugarcane derived hemi squalene. Hemi squalene safely protects your hair from color fade. It reduces damage, it prevents breakage, it smooths frizz, and it strengthens your hair without any buildup. So it's actually proven to make your hair stronger over time. So the longer you use these products and the more consistently and frequently you use these products, the better your hair is gonna look over time. So the amazing thing is you could use all these products one time and your hair is gonna look better. Like immediately it's gonna look better. But if you use them over time consistently, your hair is just going to look better and better and better. So like I said, Hemi Squalene is in every single product every single formula of every product in this line. And this is really what sets this brand apart from other hair care brands. Of course, everything is completely clean, silicone-free, sulfate-free, cruelty-free, vegan, everything. Everything that you could imagine. It's free of all the bad stuff and only has good stuff. Okay, so let's talk through some of my favorite products, the products that I use today specifically, but I also have a couple other favorites. So first is the pre-wash scalp oil right here. First of all, how gorgeous is this packaging? Okay, so this is going to be something that you use a couple times a week and it's gonna help your scalp stay super moisturized, which is so important for letting your hair grow naturally, beautifully long and healthy. If you have a really dry scalp or an, a non-healthy scalp, your hair is not gonna look good. So this is like where it all starts for me. I love to use this. Basically every other time I wash, I will use this. So this is gonna cleanse your scalp. If you have buildup, if you have a dry scalp, your hair is just not gonna grow long and beautiful. So you need to start at the root. Healthy hair starts at the root. You wanna make the root of your hair and your scalp super healthy. So like I said, I like to use this every other time I wash. You basically part your hair dry and you drop it in your part and kind of work it all throughout the scalp. Let it sit for like 10 to 15 minutes and then you'll shampoo it out in the shower. This also helps minimize hair loss. So I am seven months postpartum and I'm definitely seeing some postpartum hair loss. So I have been focusing it kind of right at the front of my head and you guys can see the regrowth that's happening is honestly incredible. And I attribute a lot of this to using this scalp oil right here. So then for shampoo and conditioner, they have three different collections. They have Embody, Nurture, and Undamage. The very cool thing about these products is 
I actually just went on their website and took a little quiz to see what the best combination of shampoo and conditioner would be for me. And I think that's very helpful for people because I think sometimes people don't know what to get. Like, do I want to nurture my hair? Do I want body? Do I want to help with the damage? Like, yes, we want all those things, but it's really helpful to just take this little quiz and it'll tell you what's best for your hair. So I really like the undamaged. I see my hair thriving after I use that. And then I use the nurture conditioner. So my hair has obviously been through a lot. I've been color treating my hair for, I don't even know how many years. So I feel like the undamaged works really well for me because my hair has been through it. If your hair has been through it, this is the one you're gonna wanna use. You could use the shampoo and conditioner as well. I just like to use the nurture conditioner because it adds moisture. My hair can get kind of dry. So if you have dry hair, the nurture is gonna be perfect for you. But like I said, you can go on their website, take a quick quiz and it'll tell you exactly what's right for you. The other products that I'm obsessed with in the shower is is the Nurture Mask. On like a big hair wash shower day, I will do the undamaged shampoo and I will do the Nurture Mask. And you basically use the mask to just replace your conditioner. And you only leave the Nurture Mask in your hair for three to five minutes, which I think is amazing because like a 10 to 15 minute hair mask for me is just not feasible. Like am I standing in the shower for 10 to 15 minutes while my hair mask is on? Like it's very annoying. So I love that this one is a hair mask, but it basically just takes the place of your conditioner that day. It is just this intense, Hence conditioning treatment that doesn't make my hair feel greasy. Sometimes when I do a hair mask, since my hair is so fine, my hair will just feel greasy after. No, 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 with this one. It is moistured, it is soft, it, the shine's just insane. So I love to use that mask. All right, so once I'm out of the shower, I then go on with my recovery serum. And this is one of those products that is like now an I can't live without type of product. Every single time I wash my hair, I put this product in because it does so many amazing things. First of all, it's a heat protectant. So if I'm blowing my hair out or I'm curling it, styling it, whatever that day, I want to put this product in to protect it from that heat. But it's also restoring my weak damaged hair, which is amazing. All of these products smell amazing, you guys. The recovery serum is a blend of amber and cashmere musk, and it's brightened with lemon and mandarin. Like it's all the products smell incredible which is just like an added bonus, you know what I mean? Because it feels very luxe when you're putting it on your hair. So you just distribute it through damp hair. I start at the middle and kind of work my way down to the ends and that's when my hair is damp and then I'm good to go and start styling, which is so easy and amazing. Now, if you're the type of girl who doesn't like to blow dry her hair and just wants to let your hair air dry, which I definitely do that a lot of times, like sometimes I'll even not wash my hair at all. I'll just get it wet in the shower and I'll go on with the air dry cream and you guys, the way my hair air dries is unbelievable. It's like has this texture and has this natural wave that my hair doesn't normally have. And it just makes it so that I don't have to do anything to my hair. Yeah. So I just work that air dry cream through my wet hair and I just let my hair naturally dry. If you already have like a natural wave or a curl and you don't want to blow dry your hair all the time, this product's going to be amazing for you. Even me though, with I have relatively straight hair, pretty fine, and that product just makes my hair air dry so beautifully. So all you need to do is work it through damp hair, wet hair when you get out of the shower, and just let your hair air dry. You don't have to do anything else. And you'll just see how amazing your hair air dries. Sometimes if you just wet your hair, like if you're not washing your hair that day, but you get it wet, you wanna put something in it out of the shower. Otherwise it just kind of dries very flat. That's my hair personally. So I need some kind of product in there. So the air dry cream is perfect for that. So that's a breakdown of almost all the products. The only one I didn't mention is the shine drops and I'm gonna be using those in a quick second in the tutorial portion of this video. So keep on watching so you can see how the shine drops transform my hair and how amazing they are. If you're just getting started with JVN and you're not sure kind of where to start, like I said, the quiz is the best place to start on their website, but my all time favorites are probably the air dry cream and the shine drops. Those are the two that I just feel like are game changer, can't live without, but also the serum because it has such a good heat protectant. So maybe those three. And then you also need a shampoo and conditioner. So it's really hard for me to pick just a couple favorites, but they're all so good, you guys. I highly recommend them. The last thing I'll add before we jump in the tutorial is if you are curious on how to use any of these products, Jonathan actually has a how-to on the JVN website, so jvnhair.com. There's a how-to for every single product. So if you get confused or overwhelmed, that's a great resource. So let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. Okay, so this is the tutorial portion of the video. I want to show you guys how I get my everyday curls and how simple it is and then how these JVN products really take this hairstyle to the next level. So you can see my hair is just up in a top knot. 
but I use one of these hair ties that doesn't dent my hair. That is one way I keep my hair kind of lasting with the style that I have because I don't use hair ties that dent my hair. I like to use ones like these, silk scrunchies, that sort of thing. So my hair currently at the current state is completely clean. I will tell you guys everything that I used so far in my hair so you can understand kind of like how we got to this point. But my hair is completely clean. So I used the undamaged shampoo and then I also used the deep moisture mask as my conditioner. And then I blow dried my hair. So I just did not style it when I blow dried it. I just basically made it so that it was dry and so that it had a little bit of lift at the root. Before I blow dried, I also used my recovery serum. So all we're gonna need for this hairstyle is some kind of comb if you want, or you can just use your fingernail. I part my hair with my fingernail usually, and I always do a middle part. So I just am going to quickly try and get this part as centered as possible. All right, so first thing you're gonna wanna do is part your hair down the middle. This can honestly be tricky. I like to use the center of my nose and like work my way up to try and find exactly where it should start, but that's pretty centered. So you can tell my hair is already super shiny and looks amazing just from the shampoo and post shampoo conditioning process of all these products. So that helps make thing, makes things a lot easier when I go to style. Now that my hair is dry, I'm going to start styling it. Like I said earlier, the serum, the recovery serum is a heat protector. So I don't even need to go in with another spray before I curl my hair, I'm just gonna go ahead and start styling. So this is just a standard hair curler. I believe this is like one and a quarter inch barrel. And this works really well for my length hair. And I'm gonna use this a couple different ways. I'm gonna start by pulling my hair just to the side, like half, you know, this half over here and this half over here. I'm just gonna work my way around my head. So I'm gonna start right at the front. I'm just going to kind of put a little bend in the hair because I want the hair to kind of swoop like this. So the front pieces are the most important in my opinion. So grabbing a section about this big and it's mostly just like my shorter pieces and then a couple longer pieces. I like how they kind of like can melt right into these pieces. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm just clamping and turning, keeping the curler like upright. And my curler is pretty hot right now. So I'm not leaving it on the hair for very long and you can see I'm letting it go and I'm kind of pulling it out. So I don't want it to be super curly. These are just really easy, basic everyday waves. So what I'm doing is I am just putting an initial curl in the hair. That way I don't have to curl my hair using this as a barrel the whole time. That takes longer. This is way quicker to just get that initial curl in the hair and then you'll see we're gonna kind of go over these pieces at the end but it's gonna take so much less time because we've already put this initial curl in so you can see this is super simple i'm just grabbing sections about the same size and working my way back clamp turn kind of letting it go pulling more letting it go pulling more and then letting it go and kind of pulling it down so i will continue this process all the way around my head Once I get to the back of the left side, I move on to the right side. You can even grab larger sections if you want to. Like I said, the point of this is just to get a good bend in the hair so that when we do the next step on the curl, there's already some kind of curl in it. If you don't have straight, fine hair like me, you may not even need to do this step. I just need to do it because as you could see, my hair is pretty pin straight. And if I want a little bit of a curl, I just need to work for it a little harder. So there we go, done. You can see that did not take long at all. That initial curl is in. Now, personally, these curls to me are just like a little sad. They're a little just like flat and they just look a little tired, don't they? Like, I just want like bigger, more like effortless curls, if that makes sense, more like a wave. So now that this step is done, we're gonna use our curler and it doesn't matter which curler, you're gonna use this as a wand. So I'll start on the left side. My front piece is pretty good. Like I'm probably not gonna touch that. So I'm gonna start a little bit further back, same size section about this big. 
and I'm just going to wrap my hair away from my face around the barrel and just hold it there for a few seconds. I'd say seven seconds if I had to guess and then let it go. So you can see look how different this type of curl looks than this type of curl. Like these are just sad and like, mm, but these I just think are beautiful curls. So maybe I will do the front piece a little bit, but you just want to do it really quick because you don't want to have like a huge bend in that front piece. You want it to kind of swoop very nicely. The beauty now is I don't have to put my hair up and do a bunch of layers. I can just do like the top and like sort of middle layer of my hair with this type of curl and it's gonna lay on top of the other curls that we already did. And you're not even gonna know that the other curls are any different because this top layer is gonna kind of cover up all the sadness, you know what I'm saying? And we're just gonna have happy, bouncy waves on top. And you can see, I'm just going away from my face, pointing the curler and the barrel down and then pulling it out. And these curls are just stunning. And look at the shine on my hair, you guys. I haven't even used my shine drops yet, just wait. Wait till the shine drops go in. So you can see this process is very simple. It's very quick. I know a lot of people like to put their hair up in a bun and do layers, start from the bottom and work their way up. Personally, I don't have time for that. <laughs> I, I think it's so much easier to just work your way around your head. And we're like, we're working smarter, not harder here. You know what I mean? Because we've already done all the prep work with all those JVN products at the beginning. So our hair is ready to go. We had that initial curl in and then we just pop those curls on top and you only need to do like four or five pieces and look at the difference between this side and this side. See the difference? It's amazing. And you can just kind of look for where you feel like it's falling flat or where you feel like you just need a little boost. You can kind of dig through a little bit, see if you want to find just to add a little body. And it takes two seconds because this curler is nice and hot and we're just boom. So now when you get to the other side, you just want to make sure that you're still curling your hair away from your face. And it gets a little awkward, especially if you're a righty like me, where you have to get a, you gotta kind of have to maneuver. So you still want the barrel pointed down and you're just gonna go away from your face. So there's a little twist of the wrist here. Do you see? That's a little bit tricky, but it's okay. We're gonna point it down still. We're gonna curl it around. We're gonna hold that there for, like I said, seven-ish seconds, maybe 10. And let that come out and look at that curl. Okay, so repeat this process till we get to the back of our head. Another thing some people do is they will alternate the direction of their curls. Personally, that ends up being more confusing to me because I feel like I forget which way I went <laughs> as I'm working my way around my head. So I'm like, uh, which way does this next curl have to go? Like, this is just easier for me because I always know what direction the curls are going in. I also feel like I don't have enough hair to really do every other. I think if you have a lot of hair, it might work better for you. But for me, I just don't have that much hair. So. I just like to always go away from my face, opposite direction, depending on the side that I'm on. Okay, so now you can see this piece just got a little too curly. She got a little too excited. So I just like to kind of use the heat of the curler to straighten a little bit. And that just, I just think that looks so much better. Just, it's not as like, woohoo, really lightly, just a little heat and pull that down. So I'm just gonna zhuzh with my fingers. You could add hairspray, texture spray, whatever you want. Personally, I like how soft and amazing my hair looks right now that I'm not gonna add a ton to it. The only thing I'm gonna add is my shine drops because I want to show you guys how you can take your hair and the style like this just to the next level with some really amazing products. So here they are in all their glory. Gorgeous, stunning, beautiful. Okay, we don't need much of these. We don't need much of these at all. Like this bottle is gonna last me minimum a year probably longer. So you want to apply these to dried hair like I'm doing right now. I like to do it at the end when my hair is fully styled. I'm just going to do like one, two, three drops. Like I said, you don't need, need much. Just have like three drops in my hand. I'm going to rub my hands together. It smells incredible. And this is just going to add this gloss, this all over gloss without adding weight, without weighing my hair down, which I always find with any type of product that makes my hair shiny, it makes my hair kind of flat and it weighs it down. 
This one is unreal and it smells insane. This is also gonna help if you have frizz. It's just gonna tame all that frizz and give your hair this incredible shine. Look at that. Do you see how it's just reflecting light? Like the other thing is with blonde hair, it's really, really hard to get your hair to shine and to bounce light because the light tone of blonde hair actually absorbs light where dark hair reflects it. And I feel like you can see the shine on my really bright blonde pieces, which has literally never happened to me until I found this product. All right, so that is it guys. We zhuzhed, worked the product through, and this is the final result. These are truly my favorite everyday curls. I just think they're so beautiful, but the majority of the work comes actually before you style your hair. You gotta use products that are going to make your hair look healthy and gorgeous before you even start styling. So that is my biggest tip when it comes to hair care. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about anything that I talked about in today's video, any of the JVN products, any of the techniques, leave them in the comments below. I'm always there to answer and help out. These are truly my everyday, super easy 10 minute curls. And I know that you guys can do this because it's so, so simple. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go and I will see you next time. Bye.